Hello and welcome to the Friday video for Module 5. Module 5 is all about comparing the means of two populations or the proportions in two populations, either through confidence intervals, which gives us an idea of how much those two populations differ in their means or proportions, or through hypothesis testing. And so let's look at problem number 11. It's going to give us three parts all together, so this will be a nice one. Uh, we need to test whether mu1 is less than mu2 at the 0.01 level. Mu1 less than mu2. Since there's no equals part there, this has to be the alternative. So to determine the null, the null is always mu1 equals mu2, so it could be this one. Oh, wait, wrong one. Could be this one. Oh, wait, or, oh yeah, it is this one. For comparing two means, the null hypothesis is always mu1 equals mu2. The alternative hypothesis comes from here. So C. Fantastic. Determine the p-value for this hypothesis test. OK. Click on the icon to view the data table. Oh, cool. Summarized data, two populations, we have the sample standard deviation. Because we have the sample standard deviation, we're using t, a t procedure. And because we got two populations that we're comparing the means of, we're going to use stat, t stats, two sample. With summary. Two sample with summary. There we go. And then we just plug in the information we're given. For population 1, we're given mean is 103.4. Sample standard deviation is 12.2. Sample size is 33. For group 2, sample mean is 114.5. Standard deviation of 13.2 and sample size of 25. Um, we're told to assume that the populations are normally distributed. OK. And we're not going to pool the variances. We need to perform a hypothesis test. The null hypothesis is that the two means are equal, so they differ by 0. The alternative is that mu1 is less than mu2, less than, and compute. I'll close this and compute. There's the answers. p-value, 0 0.001. Select the appropriate conclusion. At the 0.01 level, we're going to reject because the p-value is less than alpha. We reject the null hypothesis. There is sufficient evidence at the 0.01 level, because the p-value is less than 0.01, to conclude that mu1 is less than mu2. We reject the null, conclude the alternative. Well, so it's A. Check answer. And that was it. Well, that was boring. So here's the key to why we did number 11. We looked at deciphering what the null and the alternative are based on what's given to us. We used stack crunch to calculate a p-value. We did not pool variances. We never pool variances unless we were told explicitly to pool them. And because the p-value is less than our alpha, our alpha of 0.01, we reject the null hypothesis. And that's it. Hopefully, problem number 11 in module 5 is easy for you now. But the concepts here in problem 11 deal with a lot of other problems in this set. So use StatCrunch to do the calculations. Make sure that you know how to interpret the results. Take care.